Hi, welcome to another Jan Stampin' for Fun Watch It Wednesday video. Today I want to show you how to make this really sweet card, which would be perfect to give to someone as a get well card, or I'm thinking of you, let's get together for tea. Um, so why don't we just dive right in, because it's actually, um, why don't we start with the origami fold to hold the tea bag. Okay, so this is a six by six piece of our designer series paper in Lost Lagoon. And all I'm going to do is just fold it in half. Okay, and the bone folder is actually pretty essential here. We're just going to burnish that fold and we're going to open it up, rotate it 90 degrees, and fold it again right in half. Okay, so right now we would have um, sort of a four squares inside. Okay, we've opened it up and then we're going to fold up to the middle fold. Because basically what we're going to do is this piece of paper is going to have, I believe, 16 squares. And then we'll unfold it. Do the same on the other side. We're folding right to the middle there. Okay, see how that works together? Unfold it, and we're going to do the other side. And the same on this side. Okay, I know with this kind of paper, it's actually kind of hard to see the the fold lines, but hopefully it'll turn out okay. And then we're going to unfold it. So let me see if I hold it this way, whether you can kind of see that there's like 16 folds, 16 squares, I mean. Okay, and then you're going to take a corner and fold it right into the middle. Okay, and we're going to do that on all four corners. Oh, that chevron pattern can make your eyes go crazy. Okay. And also this way. I actually don't have a lot of experience with origami folding, but uh, I learned this and I just thought it would be super fun to put on the front of a card. Okay, so now we've got that. We're going to open it up again. And now... Um, because we have those little squares, I'm just going to fold this. Maybe it's easier if you can see from the back. See how there's that square there? I don't know if you can see. So I'm just going to fold the corner of that square. Okay, and we're going to do that on all four sides. Okay, do that here. It's really hard to see our fold lines, but our fold lines are going to kind of guide us where we should fold. Okay, so this is the only fold that we do not unfold. All the other ones we kind of unfolded along the way. And then this is kind of the magic part. You push down and you'll get this V here. Okay, and you kind of push in the middle. And because we've done those fold lines, okay, it starts to come together into a V pattern. Okay, I know it's really hard to see. There you go. Okay. Turn it around. We're going to do the same on this side. Fold in the middle and let it just go into the lines that you've already folded. Sometimes it takes a little bit of love to kind of get them going the way you want. But the burnishing of the folds really helps with the bone folder. Okay. And then the same on this side. In the center, I, don't, I think my hands are holding it down. You really can't see what I'm doing. I hope you can kind of see what I'm doing here. And you're folding in the center. Okay. So it might not be perfect, but that's okay because once you put the tea bag in, no one's really going to notice. They're still going to think it's pretty cool. 
Okay, there, I'll hold it up a little bit closer for you so you can see. Okay, so see how we did all that folding? Okay, and the cool thing is you don't need any glue to hold that down. You'll just take your tea bag, and I've just got, you know, the kind that I got from the grocery store. This happens to be Earl Grey. And slip it into the little corners here. Okay, and it's almost like the tea bag holds the folds down, so you don't need any adhesive whatsoever. And another idea that I thought of, I haven't tried it yet, but I think that would be perfect to put a photograph into as well. So you could put a photograph on the front of your card. But anyway, at the time I was thinking of somebody and I was thinking it would be nice to get together with them for tea, so that's how I ended up with that. Okay, so let me show you how I did the rest of the card. This part's really easy. I'm using the baked brown sugar ink pad. We'll open that up. And I just got a new stamp here. Oh boy, the glare is terrible. Okay, just got a new stamp. It's called I Love Lace. And I couldn't wait to use it, so we're going to use it today. And with the large background stamps, what I find helpful is to actually turn it rubber side up and actually tap the ink pad on top of it. That way I know I'm covering the whole surface of the ink of the stamp. Okay, I love how I can just use our nice ink pads and cover up the whole surface there. And this is just a what size is this? This is four inches by five and a quarter inches. Okay? And then I'm just going to not worry too much. I'm just going to put it down. And because it's a large stamp, I'm just going to apply pressure all throughout. And let's look at the magic. There we go. I love that design. Okay, so that's it. We're just going to stick it on the front of the card. Just like that, and we can just quickly finish up the card. Okay, so this is what the finished card looks like, like this. You know what? The other part I might show you is how I did the ribbon down here. Okay, so I'll just quickly show you that. I just uh, used our Fast Fuse adhesive, and this is a little stronger than our regular snail. And I just uh, put a strip here. And it takes a little love, this Fast Fuse adhesive. Let's see if it's going to work for us. There we go. It's coming out. You have to apply some pressure. And then you have to just, I don't know if you can see how it's got that really thick stringy part. You just kind of do a wrist flick to break, break that. Okay. And it's just a super strong adhesive. But how I kind of got that gathered look is I just did a zigzag. I went up and down. And this is our very vanilla seam binding ribbon. I love it because it's soft and it has a bit of a vintage look to it. There we go. Okay, so that's how I got that kind of gathered look in the ribbon. And that's pretty much it. And then I just glued it onto our Lost Lagoon base. And then I used the Fast Fuse to adhere the um, tea bag origami piece onto the center. Okay, so I hope you learned something new today and had fun. If you would like to purchase any products or ask me any questions or any other fun stamping ideas, feel free to head to my website, www.genevieve.stampinup.net. Have a great day. Bye.